very traditional pie, very Christmassy pie. It's warm, it's real inviting. Um, I did make it traditionally. It's got meat in it, along with a lot of dried fruit, sugar, brandy. Um, I put apple juice in it. You can use apple juice, you can use apple cider. Um, there's orange juice in it, there's lemon juice in it, and there's a little bit of apple cider vinegar. So you get this little, like, zing to it as you as you taste it. There's a lot of layers in this pie. I've got apples, and the dried fruit I use is apricots, cranberries, um, both dark and light raisins, and currants. For this, we used a, um, a cheaper cut of meat, so, it's, so it could be, you know, inexpensive, because um, you're going to cook it for quite a long time at a really low and slow. So I used um, a, a chuck roast this time, but if you can find, you know, any kind of chuck meat with a lot of marbling in it, um, it helps to break that down and it'll pull apart really easily when you get done cooking it. And then we also use the fat from the, um, the cow, which is suet, and that sometimes can be hard to get, but you can um, just ask your butcher and they're willing to package it up by the pound. This pie calls for um, a really dark molasses, but in Kentucky we use a lot of sorghum in everything, and I have a really nice local sorghum that we get nearby from Versailles, and so I decided to put that in the pie instead of molasses, and it adds just a little bit of a different taste to it, so but you can use either white sugar, allspice, clove, uh, nutmeg, and cinnamon, so you get that warm, like, potpourri kind of going on that always smells good during the holidays. Lots of brandy in this and even if you wanted to, if you've got a good bourbon at home, I bet that would work really well in this pie too, but I wanted to keep it a little more traditional and so I kept it with brandy.